Alright then, welcome back to the dumbest Skyrim playthrough ever. That's, yeah, it's gonna be the official name of this playthrough. I'm not kidding. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Poor, poor dragon. I, I'm sorry I had to kill you. Uh, well, I mean, it's the... Mermolnir. The circle of life, right? Well, we, we ethically slaughtered that dragon. Mermolnir. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> That's what ethical <laughs> slaughter... Just, like, cut to footage of us, like, fighting the dragon with swords. Fuck you! Fuck you, you piece of shit! <laughs> Just like beating up on it when it has like almost zero health. <laughs> um. Oh. Wait, uh, so where do I go again? Um, you gotta go back to White Run. Yeah. But, um, alright, so I'm gonna tell my story that I, I didn't tell last episode. So, um, I was in my Spanish class today, actually, and, uh, <laughs> there was. Basically, um,. Nothing in that class is ever really interesting. Like it's just, um, I know that's um, it's my opinion, but just you know, the teacher, um, the teacher in my opinion isn't that smart, and just there's not a whole lot of compelling thought process that goes on Wait. in my class. So, um, so was she's, that a dragon? Um, no, that was the graybeards. Oh, okay. I was afraid for a second. <laughs> the graybeards were shouting at you from high hop across car. Um. Also, just an aside. No, I don't think she's. No, I don't think she's unintelligent because she doesn't speak English that well, though she doesn't. I think she's unintelligent because I've never... Well... Just... Never mind, I feel like I'm gonna sound like an asshole either way here, but... Regardless, I just- I wasn't really feeling this- this lesson that was happening. Dan, where so, am I supposed to go? Uh, somewhere. Thanks! Uh, just go back up to the- to the Yarl. The Yarl? Uh, yeah, the- the hey, Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach? No. Alright, but- Wait, you told me to go to White Run, not Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach is in White Run. <laughs> it's that place where the Jarl was. I don't remember where it was. It's, is this it? That's where the companions were. <laughs> <laughs> I am so lost. Ellie, you're interrupting my amazing story. It's that one. Okay. Yeah, this place, remember this oh! place? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, no, but anyway, alright, so this is happening, and I'm like, I don't think I'm being overly obnoxious, but, like, I'm basically, I'm kind of, um, I start talking to this guy who's, like, not exactly my friend, but just kind of an acquaintance of mine. Like, it's one of those things where, like, we don't really know each other that well, so I wouldn't call us friends, but then we also, um, like, we talk pretty regularly. So I was talking to him, and, um, I was basically, I don't remember how this came to a conversation, but I was basically, I was trying to explain to him, um, how time travel is theoretically possible based on, like, um, Einstein's theory of relativity. And, um, I, I think I simplified it a little bit, because, I mean, well, I, like most people, don't really fully understand the theory of relativity. I don't even, I don't even know if... Did Einstein fully understand it? I mean, I guess I would think he did. He wrote, he wrote the thing. But regardless, um, he, um, so I was, I was getting really into that, because, you know, I get, I get passionate about science and shit like that. And, uh, Apparently, what was happening, because, you know, the, the, either I was being louder than I thought I was or what, but the teacher had taken notice of my, my scientific, um, ruminations, and she wasn't really, um, she wasn't really plussed about that. <laughs> so, apparently, during that whole process, somewhere along it, I don't really, I don't really know, because, um, well, you'll know why in a second. But, um, she was, like, basically repeating my name, trying to get my attention, and I didn't hear her at all, because I was just so enthralled. <laughs> with the, I was just t basically tuning her out without even trying. So eventually, <laughs> and he calls my attention. Oh shit, that was that was the name of the guy, but um, he um, I mean that's just the first name that I know he is. Um, he um, but yeah, he basically he, he draws my attention to this, and so <laughs> teachers just like um. What are you doing? Or something like that. And like, I don't- or no, 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 it wasn't that. She was like, Daniel, three times I have to- uh, something to that effect. And I go, I, I'm not- I look at her and I'm not really sure what to say, so I just go, I was talking about the theory of relativity. <laughs> and then she was like, what? And like, she had this confused look on her face, and I'm like, do you know what the theory of relativity is? And then she's like, no, but we need to be here. She like, what's the point? <laughs> and the whole class just starts cracking. I don't even know why. I'm not sure if it was that funny, but it was just like I didn't know. I didn't really think it was gonna be very funny. But yeah, it's, that was um. She doesn't know what the theory. <laughs> well, yeah, that was the other thing. The first that um, I wasn't even thinking like, oh fuck, I, I just got called out. Like I, I actually weirdly enough didn't really care that much. But the first the first thought that occurred to me after she said that was, uh, beside also the people that are just erupting and laughter around me, I'm just like. You don't know what the theory of relativity is. 
<laughs> like, is, is that a thing? I don't know. Com comment down below. How many people actually know what the theory of relativity is? Because I feel like most people probably at least know what it is, even if they don't really know much about it. Um, so yeah, that, that was my... That happened today, actually. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I don't have very many crazy stories. I wonder if I should actually. I'm a edit. very boring person. <laughs> I wonder if I should edit out the part where I said his name actually, just because like I mean, not that um, I didn't say anything bad about him actually. It wasn't really a compromising situation, but just I don't know, you know, privacy's sake, and whatnot. Also, did you notice that when I was like standing right up next to the king, like my, or whatever the heck he is, the Yarl, like I kept on glitching up and down. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was too involved in my my stupid story. Where? Oh, this is the companion place again. Why can't I know directions? <laughs> Where am I even supposed to go? I have two objective markers. Which one should I follow? I'll go this way. Why am I going up here? Well, I, see, I feel like with the comment where I was saying that she didn't seem that she doesn't really seem that smart. Like, I actually, I'm wondering. Well, because oh, it's um, white run. Someone in white run. We'll pay good money for information. What is this guy saying? Red guard like us. He's talking about some woman that they're looking for. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Okay. We are not welcome here in White Run. Huh. We will be in Aurora instead if you learn anything. Yeah. But, um, anyway, the, um, I'll just escape. what I was about to say about that whole thing with, um, Tisha not being a very intelligent is I was about to say, like, she just doesn't express very many, like, complex-seeming thoughts. The more I thought about it, I was kind of like, well, I mean, she doesn't speak English very well, but maybe that, um, you know, that's kind of beyond her. The more I think about it, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there can be complexity of thought without necessarily complexity of expression, like you see what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a certain level of curiosity that just kind of crosses language boundaries. I know, well. <laughs> I'm sure someone's gonna find a way to call me a dick anyway, so just whatever. Where am I even so Somewhere. Okay, I, I'll, I'll check my map. You have two missions active right now. One of them is way. Hover over that right now. The, the, the thing with um, um, dragons. Oh, I think I know what that is. The, it wants you to talk to the Earl so you can become a Thane, but you don't really need to do that. What's so a Thane? A Thane is, um, it's like a knight, sort of, but in the Viking era. Oh, so then it's what actually an Anglo-Saxon thing. I don't know why it's in like the Viking game. Um, do you, all right, look, scroll, like scroll over to this side of the map. You um, down, more down, down. Wild. Yeah, there. That's where you have to go. Whoa. You have to go around that giant mountain. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Oh, goody. <laughs> that's. A, Should I? Oh, well, uh, Ellie, you want to know the best part? What? This is a place that's always difficult for me to find. No. <laughs> You know I have no sense of direction. <laughs> well, you could make it a little easier on yourself. Well, I can know. I go through this way? What you could do is you could um you could use the the horse cart to teleport to um you could use the horse cart to teleport to Riften. And Where's then it just Riften? becomes like a straight line. It's um go to the right. Yeah. It's uh, more right. Yeah, it's over there. Oh. So that would put you in. It wouldn't bring you any closer, but it would just make it a straight line from there to there. Can I go across this one? The problem what? is, for some reason, I don't know why, but my game will glit. The horse card is, like, right here. But, um, for me to, um, the problem with that is if you do that, you're gonna have to save before you do it, because, um, I have a problem with my game where sometimes when you try to use the card, it'll just glitch out and close the game. Oh. I don't know you why know what? that happens. I I will be adventurous. I will go to Dragon's Reach and I will take the long way. Um no, don't go there cuz you'll have to you'll have to leave the city. You'll probably teleport like here. Here? Yeah. We're going on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been going, we've been adventuring this entire time. Also, do me a favor, because this yes. is going to bother me. Press escape, and then um, we're, we're put another on the dicking around with menus counter. <laughs> I actually didn't make that counter, because I'm too lazy. Uh, uh, go to quest. Quest? Oh, here. Yeah, d turn off um, Dragon Rising. Oh! Because that way there won't be that marker on, um, on Dragon's Reach. Okay, so which way do I go? I can uh, check my map. Okay. Which, I'm facing this direction, so I just need to go straight for a bit. Actually, wait, fuck. 
What? Act, now that I think about it, actually, maybe go talk to the R real quick, because I remember I had a glitch one time where, um, the you have to talk to the R later to trap a dragon, and it wouldn't let me talk to him, and I am wondering if maybe that's what caused it, so just to be safe, let's just talk to him to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. Sorry, this is this is gonna be another one of those episodes where not much happens. I, I'm, and decisiveness. I find it funny too how I, I I made a dicking around of menu segments specifically so we could ignore this, and then I had you go do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. No, this is good. This is good shit. One hundred percent. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh. Is just I am running. I feel like they made the like the throne pose like as douchey as possible and he's just sitting there like oh, yeah. <laughs> oh they can't he's man spreading. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I, his legs aren't that far apart. Uh, showing off the crown jewels. <laughs> Should I just escape from this or will it not uh, let me? I don't know if you can actually. You can keep clicking to make it go fast. Hit stop. Yes, my lord. Um, no, you know there are actually two characters in this game that you can't skip their dialogue. Really? Yeah, it's um the Augur of Dunlane in the um the middens of the College of Winterhold and um Hermaeus Mora. You probably will never talk to those two characters. Yeah, you definitely will never talk to those two characters, so you don't really have to worry about it. But why can't you? Um, it just won't let you. Alright, so yeah, you already you already did the thing you had to with the URL, so now you can go where you need to do. Alright. I just said you can go where you need to do. Go where you need to do! Oh, uh, that, um, that girl is gonna talk to you. Oh, okay. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. <laughs> what does a house Carl do? Yeah. Do you actually know? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own. Is it bad that, like, the first thing I thought when she said that, I was like, how far exactly does that extend? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, well... What, what do I... Can I just... Like, it's not even that I, I want that I would want to, I'm just curious. Uh, so should I just escape? Uh, yeah, just escape, yeah. Okay. Unless you want to come with you. No, I don't really care. You're, you're a lone wolf. <laughs> yes. Honestly, it'd probably be better if I had somebody helping me, but, eh. We're not bitches. We don't need help. Yeah! So, wait, should I head back to the farm place, or should I try and leave? Yeah, yeah, well, then go back to the farm place. No. I'm not sure if that actually affected anything or not, but my, I don't know, my, my heart and mind will rest easier now. Alright, uh, eh, sure enough. I feel like I, I was starting a thought earlier, and I never did, and I never finished it, but I can't remember what that was now. <laughs> So... That's gonna happen a lot in this playthrough. If someone actually... If someone actually asks about it in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll explain where I was going with it in a response. Wait, which direction? Am I going the right way? Oh, I'm, Oh, so there's like a road area. Around. Okay. Yeah, well, there's... It's not a road, it's actually a river. There, there's a road that stretches for a little while, but then the road's gonna disappear at some point. Oh, uh, there's the hunting brew metery over there. Oh. If you do the Thieves Guild quest, then they shut it down and turn it into a Blackbriar Meadery. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be a thief, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it's sad, actually, because I don't know if this is, like, a controversial opinion, but I kind of prefer Hunting Brew Mead. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird to say, because I can't drink it, I just, I don't know. I, I like the name, I like the way the, the bottle looks. <laughs> so, do I go forward or to the left? Um, I think forward. There's also like a cave over there if you want to go exploring it. Nah, that'll take too long. Yeah, well, yeah, we probably don't want to get bogged down with exploring every little corner of Skyrim. Darn it, it takes so much. Oh, hey, a wolf. <laughs> I, never, I never realized this about that animation, but it kind of looks like you're about to give it a hug. <laughs> You hugged it with your sword. <laughs> that is horrible. I mean, I don't know, I thought it was pretty great. <laughs> the poor little wolf. Also, I just realized that um the steel sword from this game kinda looks like the Kathness from um or the Kathness from the Albion sword collection. 
I mean, the blade is shaped wrongly, but, you know. So, I mean, it's pretty close, at least. <laughs> oh, I did it again! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, I always feel ba so bad. I, uh, I feel bad. Oh. So, what have we done so far in this episode? We've talked to a bunch of people and we've slaughtered some wolves. <laughs> <laughs> What did, what did you name this character? Sylvia. Sylvia, Slayer of Wolves. <laughs> no! The alliteration, too! Sl slayer of Innocent Pieces of Nature. Am I even going the right- Yes, I am, okay. Um, yeah, it's actually- it's time to call this episode. No! Okay. Oh, wait, wait. You're, you're always so weirdly disappointed when I do that. <laughs> Skeever. What the hell is a skeever doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh, um, another, another one. <laughs> okay. Skeever. Well, um, we'll continue this insanity in the next episode. So okay. be sure to like if you did and consider subscribing.